Hey everybody, welcome back to the homestead inside of the uh, our chicken run. I've been uh, hitting this thing pretty hard trying to get it under control and uh, I just wanted to take a minute and show you guys what I've got going on and uh, maybe give you some ideas or inspiration. So uh, first let's start on the outside of the run and I'll show you what I did around it for uh, protection. Anyway, let's get started. First thing I did was uh, install, make sure my thing's out here, yep. Install some corner posts. And they're uh, eight foot tall, and I buried them about two feet, maybe a little less in some places. We live on a rock farm, pretty much. And then uh, one thing I did do is added a brace here. And typically when you're putting in a fence, you wanna have some sort of bracing that will because um, when you pull the fence, it's going to put tension on this post and it's capable of pulling it over. And so it's just good to have a brace going down like so. Uh, another big thing that we did is along the base of the run, I put in this half inch mesh two feet out. So I dug, dug out about four inches deep more in some places and then place this half inch wire it's four foot wide and I folded it in half and put two feet on the ground and two foot up the fence and then I'll backfill all this dirt back on top of it but first I want to put in this um, this is some old deck board that I got off of a project uh, composite decking and I want to I, I weed eat pretty often and if you've ever weed eaten you know it's fun hitting fences and it tends to make holes in fences and stuff like that. So if I put that there, put the dirt up, then it gives me something to run the weed eater across and not tear up the fence. Like I said, we live on a rock farm, so a lot of this area was all rock and I uh, had to pull them out and backfill it. But it's all part of the game. When it came to the corners, um, of the run where the half inch wire mesh I what I did I'll show you here is I cut one long actually they pretty much overlap so you don't want to have an opening here say you were to cut this one straight and this one straight you would have this opening here where there's no wire mesh so what I did was um, just make it long make this other one long and then overlap them and that way, as you can see there, nothing's gonna get in there. The, the purpose of the wire mesh is if a predator comes in or up to the fence, it's gonna wanna dig in there and try and get in and it's gonna dig a little bit and not be able to dig much further because it, there's metal wire down there. So that's the purpose of that. So this is still a work in progress. So I'm working on the gate now. Hopefully have a video up for that pretty soon. Now we get to the inside. This is all uh, chicken wire, six foot wide chicken wire. And it runs off the fence there and all the way up and then I did tie off to the chicken house, chicken mansion, chicken coop. Left this tree so I had to go around that. I didn't want to be in here and ducking down all the time. The fence is six foot tall. I'm six foot tall on a good day. With boots on, I'm definitely six foot. So what I did was, see it up there. There's a cable running through right here and I attached it to the tree um, basically just uh, ran the cable through a old hose that I had. I think everyone's got a holy hose somewhere. And put a uh, cable clamp on there. I picked up the cable, just keep an eye out, look online, or go to your local tow companies and they usually have to uh, swap out cables on their trucks somewhat here and there. I did work for a tow company at once, so I know a guy. <laughs> and then basically just ran the cable through and then pulled the wire over. 
typically when you get used cables they will have burrs on them so wear your gloves and what I did to help with that is I put a just an old piece of pipe I had laying around cut a slit down it and slipped that over the cable and that kind of acted like a roller to help me get the uh, chicken wire on and it worked out pretty well <clears throat> uh, a lot of things that I see in the research that I've been doing when people do their coops they'll usually you know do four by four posts every eight feet and uh, like a wood header I guess you would call it across I'm trying to use what I have I had plenty of t-post hanging out I have plenty of con conduit hanging out so I'm just other than the wood posts and the fencing I was trying to use what I had um, so I did add conduit as like a top rail here and basically just weaved it in and out of the fence and that just gave me some sort of rigidity kind of brought the whole fence line together because there is a lot of tension on this chicken wire here there is a bush in the middle of my chicken run i did hack it up pretty good on the top because it was uh, extending into the um, roof area but i did want to leave it because i want the you know chickens to have somewhere to hang out and play around and all that stuff uh, what else do we got the seam of the wires basically i just tied it together with some uh almost like piano string wire cable string wire yeah and that's how i did that so basically that's what we've done so far and there's more to come uh, i still got to do all the accessories for the chicken house ladder and um, um what do you call it roost inside and a feeder yeah, water so much so uh yeah that's all i got to say about that thanks for watching we'll see you on the next one watch out that's pokey no i'm not making a couch <laughs>